Hey guys, welcome back to Toy Notes with me, Kelsey. Today we're playing Sophie's Seashell Scramble. This is supposed to be a playful seashell game matching and patterns. So this is going to be great for keeping those kids stimulated on the summer vacation. It's good for kids three and older, so even your youngest players, and two to four players. So I imagine this is just a memory game, but... We'll see how it holds up to some of the classic ones I played with as a kid. So the box opens up. Ooh, there's two pieces of tape there. We've got a little sea otter here. Looks like it's some sort of holder. The instructions and a game wheel. Some little seashell pieces, so mind your uh, choking hazards with that. And then, of course, some game cards. So these game cards all have pictures of seashells on them and nothing on the back. So I'm definitely going to need... The instructions. I think this must be the game board. I'm not really sure. So, instructions. So, it says the benefits for this game up here. It says it helps children to learn to identify and match patterns. This is a squeezer, apparently, and it helps with this dexterity. So the object of the game is to use your pattern matching skills and be the first to collect five shells of each, one of each pattern. So scatter all the shells inside the box. Give each player a shell snack mat. Pass the Sophie squeezer to the youngest player, and let's play. Okay. So... Each player gets one of these mats, so y'all get one down here, I'm going to have one up here. And the game board is inside the box, so we just kind of dump these out, mix them up good. Now, when it's your turn, the youngest player goes first, obviously, it said. Oop, that piece of tape off there. So... When you spin a pattern, that's the shell you're looking for. So when you get this pattern, you're looking for a shell that matches that pattern. If you get a number, you get to pick that number of random shells, whichever one you want. Hungry Otter says to use Sophie to take a shell from another player and place it on the matching space of your snack mat. The big wave is... Crashing the shell collecting par parties because all players lose a shell back to the box. And the auto, the octopus, um, says when you land on this one, you're going to take a shell from your shell snack mat and place it on the table next to auto. If you, then you spin the spinner again. If you land on auto or if you land on the pattern that matches the shell you took, you can take your shell back and pick up an additional shell from the ocean. Spin anything else and auto tosses your shell back in the ocean. Better luck next time. So, I would spin. And I've got Hungry Otter, except you don't have any for me to steal. So, spin again. Polka dots. So then you would use this to pick up the polka dot shell and put it on the corresponding spot on your mat. Now your turn, same thing. You would actually steal my shell because I am the only one with a shell. Now again, if you land on this octopus, I would take one from my snack mat and put it here. Now I either have to spin on the polka dots or back on this octopus to keep this. If I don't, then I have to throw it back. 
if I do, I get to keep this one and take one from that stack. Make sense? Well, guys, I hope you had fun learning how to play Sophie's Seashell Scramble with me. I actually like this game. I think it's a great one because it does include those younger players. Um, it's very easy to follow the directions. Um, and it is building skills uh, with the dexterity using the little squeezer, how to follow rules, and how to match patterns. So I think this is a great little learning game. Definitely one to keep in the arsenal for those that are just a little bit too young for some of the other games that we've played with here at Toy Notes. This one's a great first one. So guys, if you want to be here for more awesome family games and first-timer games, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up as it's always appreciated. And keep checking back with us at ToyNotes.com where I'm keeping up on all the new games and top 2017 trending toys. But until next time, bye!